everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of I Made My Sims Live Like It Was Certain Date. And for today, we're doing the 1960s. People try to put us to death. Talking about my generation. Just because we get around. Talking about my generation. Things they do look awful. Talking about my generation. I hope I die before I get old. So for this one I am just going to focus on two sims, a male and a female, and they're going to be young adults and I'm going to try and style them the best as I can. You will already see it because it'll already be on the screen, but hopefully I done good because I'm recording this before I've done that. So clothes during this era were very heavily influenced by British fashion and British bands. Definitely Britain was the forefront in 60s fashion. These are bands such as like The Who, The Kinks, The Beatles, very swing in 60s and these really pushed forward the mod fashion. Haircuts were short, often with a full fringe for males and females, but if you were female and your hair was not short you had long hair it was heavily back combed and worn in a very sleek way and the mod clothing varied from bright paisley patterns to a more formal and refined look and parkas also became popular during this period as people rode lambrettas and vespers as part of the mod culture and fashion so the parka was a way to keep your suit clean as you rode there was also a high rise of feminism in this period which meant that women's fashion was completely transformed women started to wear trousers during this time there was also the increase of popularity in mini skirts which was never Ever seen before a mini skirt and showing your skin was often referred to as being immoral and if you want a figure of the fashion of this time the best person to look for is Twiggy because she completely encapsulates the whole mod look with her pixie hairstyle, paisley patterns and Peter Pan collar dress. Now I'm going to talk about housing. So due to the amount of bombing in the Second World War, and there was a lot of bombing, Britain was undergoing a housing crisis. There wasn't enough houses. So there was a mass housing boom to build lots of houses in Britain. And these houses did definitely change. This saw the increase of suburban semi-detached houses, very different from the terraced houses that we explored in the last episode. And there was also the incorporation of garages and drives to these houses. People wanted more space and living became more open. These garages as well are often characterised by the flat roofs. The flat roofs weren't often seen on the houses themselves. They still had the triangle roof, but garages and stuff are characterised by flat roofs during this time. And previously houses would have had separate dining and living room areas, but the 60s saw this become one. It was a very open space. And the rooms were often painted, each one a different colour. It was no longer a neutral base setting. The 60s, I can't emphasise this enough, it was a time of massive joy, the swinging 60s, and the houses, fashion and everything reflected this. And there was also technological innovations, colour TVs, transistor radios were seen in almost every household. And this only increased the popularity of mod bands, mod clothing and mod music. Because this is the time where things were really shown. The Beatles were shown on TV performing places. You could see shopping adverts, everything like that. It completely just reinforced this mod subculture. And with the interior of houses, living rooms did not revolve around the fire. Living rooms revolved around the TV. There was a TV point in every room. Microwaves were also an addition in this period and these were seen in most houses. And this made mealtime significantly shorter, which meant that women could spend a lot less time in the kitchen and more time focusing on leisure activities, which brings us into pastimes. So the youth of the 60s were the first generation to not have conscription in the army. And the parents of the 60s were the ones who were fighting in the world war where everything was grim, everything was bleak. There was no real good outlook. There was a lot of death there was no happiness basically it wasn't really a time of joy so there was a focus a lot on leisure in the 60s people wanted to have a good time they didn't want to be down and because of the technological advancement this meant that more jobs were created in places like factories which meant more people had disposable incomes to actually enjoy these leisure activities and there was more of an influence on teenagers and young adulthood during this time as well. There was much more time on enjoying your time when you can. People wouldn't necessarily move out straight away, they'd go find a job, they'd have a couple of years of freedom and then they'd move on to a family. It would be wrong to talk about the 60s without mentioning the biggest pastime of the dance movement. So the biggest one that I'm going to talk about is the Northern Soul Dance Movement, which was absolutely massive. Arguably with the Wigan Casino in the 70s, it did become more popular, but to the mid to late 60s, Northern Soul was a forefront of the music scene. And it was born from the mod subculture, so it was popular from there too. And people often went out to dance this type of music as it is a very specific form of dance. So our Sims will be spending a lot of time on the dance floor. And this music mainly was inspired by American Motown, 
but it was massively influential in the UK and still to this day is still massively influential in the UK. I myself have been to plenty of Northern Soul Nights and danced my heart out, but it is a very specific style. It had its own subculture born out of that. It's got its own fashion sense, which is inspired by the mod fashion sense. So overall, thankfully, it was quite easy actually to do this one. It wasn't that challenging. I didn't have to go on a massive custom content search because a lot of the CC that I already have is applicable in this context. Peter Pan collared dress for the girl, the black and white one, that was very mod fashion and I already had that in my CC catalogue, so that was pretty good. Her hair, I, I think it wasn't even custom content, it just came with the game. So that was just a little pixie cut. I did want to do a beehive, but I couldn't find anything. And for the male hair, there was this like kind of long hair, which I'm sure you've seen me maybe almost consider, but it went down like here. It was actually a female hair with a little choppy full fringe. I was going to consider that one, but I think I have one by Dreambot instead. I think that's the CC maker. So that was kind of like a full fringe, which is like the epitome of male mod fashion. So the creator sim was kind of easy and for the housing as well, to be honest. The exterior, it was a bit nitpicky picking the windows and everything because the sims catalog is not that much of an english catalog like english house is very boring very plain very all the same so there's not that much creativity with them and our windows are often very big bay windows actually but they don't come out like the circular ones in the game they're just very big bay windows for a lot of the houses on the bottom floor and the upper floors as well usually because it's always like the same window on the top and the bottom so i did struggle quite a bit in the speed build i really did but i think i kind of managed to show what a 60s english house looks like especially it was kind of hard because Houses in England never look good on The Sims unless they're detached. They just don't because they're all brick. They all look the same. So that was kind of challenging. But the insides as well, that was also... I don't know because there was the mid-century modern stuff that you got with bowling stuff but that's a bit too posh and we're not doing a posh like middle class, upper middle class kind of outlook on this. We're doing a working class outlook. So that one was kind of difficult because it, it just looked too rich. Like I put the table in the dining room and I was like, no... Nah, because they, they would just have like a wooden dining table and stuff like that. They don't have that much expendable income at all. And the leisure activities was pretty good. I said, just sent to the dance floor, let them dance little hearts out. And that was pretty much the full video. So let me know what you think about this video. I think it's going to be shorter than the last one. But I tried to focus more on the actual gameplay of The Sims rather than just me educating you. I'm not a teacher though, so I shouldn't really try and do that. But a lot of you liked it and a lot of you didn't. So let me know what you think of this one, of the different editing style. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh.